So what's the difference between magic, a prank, a joke? It's presentation. It's context, whether you're in a theater, whether you're presenting yourself as a magician, whether you're hanging out with friends, whether it's something you throw away casually or something you focus on as a bit of a mystery. They're all very similar. And this is a great example of this. I love this. Uh, I first learned this in a book by Paul Harris, um, a, a brilliant magician. Um, and uh, it's credited to a, a friend of his, Louis Simonoff. And it's called Louis Simonoff's False Count. And it's not a false count with cards or something, it's a count in reference to a vampire, like a vampire crawling around the wall. Now, a lot of magicians look at this and dismiss it as something silly. It is not. It can be very deceptive, and I've got great reactions with this. It's about committing to it and doing it the right way. So let's look at the details that really sell this, okay? First, you start with your foot. Okay, you start with your foot. Here's the wall. I want to make sure that they don't see my hip or my pants, so maybe I'm a good eight inches from the edge of the wall, okay? Now, do not attempt to do this with your hands up this high. It's too close to your actual height. It works better if you lift this leg and you lever right over as much as you can and you're like this. This is the position, okay? And don't just go, hey, here I am. Build drama. Have that first hand come around. Your friends are coming, they're meeting you for a restaurant or movie, whatever. First hand, second hand, and then there's this. As if you're you know, barely, barely keeping balance. Then you're leaning here, and you go from this position, peeking around, to literally crawling around the wall. And this is what really sells the illusion, okay? You're here, you're crawling around the wall, and then suddenly something's got hold of you, and your hands both, as a pair, they both come out, and you fall back. The illusion's great, they're like this. They expect, they come around the wall expecting to see a ladder, a bench, a chair, something, and you're just standing there saying, hey, what took you so long?